What's up guys? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm feeling better now after being sick for a few days. Alright, it's Toyotama vs Shoyo. Suggested by Vantage and Capistrano. Thank you so much. Let's begin! Welcome everyone, here it is at long last. It's the start of the NBA regular season. I know everyone's just as excited as we are here on 2K Sports to get things underway. Hi folks, this is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. Now the starting group for the visitors. And with opening night, Brent, we'll get to see these players going full force. Uh, this is huge. The difference between the preseason and then ratcheting things up for an opening night. The butterflies are there. The excitement is there. The uniform smells better. The lights are a little bit brighter. So let's get it going. Six on the shot clock. From the stripe. And he comes up with a bucket. With defense that soft, you have to take them to task. First shot won't go. Just about a minute into this first quarter. To the middle. Goes up on the wing. They get it back. Basket counts. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Buckets. That three's off the mark. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Foul. First personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your home team. At the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Perfect from the line this time. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. It's deflected. Second chance shot. Two minutes into the first quarter here. You 
uses the glass to finish the layup. Six points for him. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Well, they can't find the net. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Oh, he can't stop the run as that misses. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Let's it fly. Up and in with the That's jumper near the hoop. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. Let's a floater go. That one's off. He's 0 for 3 now. He's gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. And he stepped on the line, so they turn it over. Away team ball. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Gone 0 for 6 from the floor. Shaky start. Baseline J is off the mark. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Just five to shoot. The 11 footer. And the layup is good off the glass. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. take two free throws now foul i don't mind that i mean they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points team taking two shots oh, take a break take a break two shots Free throw is good. It's both good from the line that time. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. There's the drive. Good. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. One twenty-four left in the opening quarter. And too long on the shot. Some of it's good defense and some of it's just poor shot selection. Either way, he's being shut out. From seven feet away, and that one drops. Give him eight. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. 
we know who that was. Down low to stop the run. Howard down after the assist led him to the lane. At last, their cold streak is over. They finally found something that worked. Yeah, the point is to score, so getting that first one, that always helps. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second personal foul. Man, good whistle foul. there. At the line for your home team. Two shots. Shooting two. First one at the line is good. Old shot's good from the strike. 34 seconds left in the first. To the paint. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. No good with a layup. And rejected. And that goes out of bounds. Can't connect from 14. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. They lead by 18. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Pace of the game. Eleven feet out. This is again now 0 for three. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Out left to the wing. Four on the clock. Count that one. Assist from. Give him eight points now. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. to the right wing shoots got it off in time to beat the shot clock but it's no good to the wing right side to the inside that's good for the day he's four for six that's been the story of their offense so far getting a number of looks from point blank range Just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. The layup misses. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. touch off the window. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. The visitors with the ball. No points yet here in the second quarter for them. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Last season, Draymond Green called out what he saw as a double standard. When players ask for trades, they're vilified. But teams can announce they're planning to trade a player and sit him on the bench in the meantime, and then it's taken in stride. 
guys. He feels like it's disrespectful. Well, that's something to consider, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff. They're winning the battle down time low out, by imposing their will. And we've heard some outspoken critics, but one year in in the new NBA play and format, Brent, this tournament looks like it's here to stay. Well, with you. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. A shot to stop the drought. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Shooting for the away team. Taking two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. The first free throw is good. On both. Gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Inside. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. He's got 16. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Right wing. Clock at six. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Two. Nice offense here. Close in. Great bet to go. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. To the middle. 13 feet out. Doesn't go that time. Got nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. The quick look, no good that time. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Hey, Ball stolen. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And he makes it on the layup. Gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Minute 42 left in the second quarter. Second shot opportunity. They get the rebound. Five to shoot. That's short off the rim. Got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. in the layup and he gives up some size inside but makes a great adjustment on the finish yeah the big man not gonna slow him down from getting that deuce not the tallest <laughs> center in the league he more than makes up for it with those crazy hops and there's the rejection and the ball ends up out of bounds and they'll keep possession There's 45 seconds left in the second period. That one drops for him. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Inside. And count it. Now 5 for 7. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Keep 
And he drives in. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. One shot. One shot. Nine seconds left in the first half of this one. To the inside. As we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. Up 19. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, how'd you see it? Their effort on the glass, absolutely key to setting the tone. They wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they wanted to dominate on both ends. Really terrific. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. They really need to focus on finding quality shots. They can't create for themselves in the second half. Things will only get worse. And I'm talking about the high percentage looks, not contested threes. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. The visitors with the ball. 19-point game. the high post. The shot off that time. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. He's their go-to. They keep calling his number and he delivers. Shooting just 24% on this one. Not great. From downtown, it doesn't go for him. Shooting very well. 62% and going right at the defense. Missed inside. Count it. 14 points for him. And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. Just five on the clock. There's the three. That one doesn't drop. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. And it goes. That makes it 9 for 13 now. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Puts up a three. Second chance effort, and the layup is good. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Going 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Blocked! 
I'm not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts, and they're still looking for their first bucket. Fires from deep. Fires in the triple. He's got five. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. To end the run. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Allie. Thanks for that. Gone only one for six here in the second half. Uneasy, too, on the layup. It's fun for us to sit back and watch him go to work. But that's our job, not the defenses. They left him too open on that play. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. Shoots from 12. He can't get that one to fall. Going one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. And they turn it over. Stepped on the line that time. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. With the drive, misses the layup. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field and seems really frustrated. The ball's knocked loose. One oh seven left in the third. Six to shoot. Home team foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Six on the shot clock. Floats one. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Unable to get that one. Going 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Over to the left wing. Nineteen seconds left in the third quarter here. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. Shoots off the step back. And that one's good. 11 points in the game. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Delivering the blowout. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. 
Brent, there are over 50 NBA players from the continent of Africa or with family ties there. And the NBA is investing in Africa's infrastructure for basketball. Well, they're building courts there. The league is going to grow there. And I think within five years, B.A., we're going to have an influx of talent and a player who's going to come in to the NBA and make a huge impact. They grab their own miss. It's good. 26 points for them. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. There's the block. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. That one goes in. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. Down low. It's intercepted. Here's Okoro. Good on the shot. Okoro's gotten his first bucket of the night. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Shot clock at six. Got a hand on it. It seems to be more and more of a challenge for mid-market teams to keep their roster intact. Fred, players have a lot more say than they used to. Yeah, and this is a, an onus on ownership and general managers to create the kind of culture that invites star players to come in and start to win. And if you can get that kind of championship buy-in, you've got a chance, even if you're a small market. One shot. One shot. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Misses off the front iron. Gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Five on the clock. From deep. The shot no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. When you look at the roster now, the coach and the voice remains. So that's a Spurs team that's young, has a lot of guys who need to grow, but they have the type of DNA that you're looking for being competitive and wanting to push their limits. So in the next few years, maybe the Spurs will find a way to get deep into the playoffs Assist and have an opportunity to compete. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. again. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Foul. Second team foul. Shooting for the home team. At the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. Knocks down the first one. So 
So after making the first, he goes one for two. And Grant, in 2015, you became part owner of the Atlanta Hawks. How pleased were you to see their performance in last year's playoffs? Well, it was incredible. So much fun to see this team come together, rally, and have an incredible run in this past postseason. Now, as a broadcaster, you don't want to have a rooting interest, but I'll confess, it was definitely special to see. Can't cash it in from the high post. Gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. It's wide right, hits off the rim. Got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. 11 feet out. No good there. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebound. One fourteen left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Second chance shot. Kept alive. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. Shoots from the baseline. And that goes out of bounds. Out of now bounds. keep possession. Away team ball. Six to shoot. From the arc. And no good. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. To the paint. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. And so they get the victory here at home. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time. All right, this is the end of the video. I'm so glad you made it here. And I hope you like the gameplay. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But if you have liked this video and subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you want to watch more Slump Dunk gameplay, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. Make sure to click one of them. All right, I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.